Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be doing a strategy video. Now this is something that I do not do too often on my channel and the reason for that is I don't really know too much about strategy. Honestly, I am not the best attacker, I'm not going to say that, but uh, I am an okay attacker, I'm a decent attacker. So today, I want to do a strategy video for Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9. Now this strategy works at both Town Halls and I'm going to be showing you Two examples of that so first of all let's go into our replay log and show you the first one now as you can see right here this is going to be the town hall 9 army now first of all if you guys do want to copy this army just take a screenshot of the um, basically of the screen right now because the army is this one against ARRA so the army consists of two golems eight wizards three witches and five uh, wall breakers and the rest you can put all of the hog riders and then whatever you wanted to fill up the mission spots in my opinion I just put the archers you could also take a single more wall breaker with you but it is not all that necessary now also you can have your bar king and your archer queen now my archer queen is actually currently down or I think she just woke up but she was down when I did the attack so yes she is currently up and running but uh, yeah you can do this army and also from the spells you take a jump spell a raid spell and three heal spells now I'm not quite sure if you can have so many spells at town hall 9 if not then I would definitely recommend recommend you take out the raid spot and take three heal spells with you but then the poison spot it is really important but anyways let's not talk any longer let's go ahead and review the attack so we're gonna click on replay you also saw it was a 100% three star now I attack this base this base is basically like a town hall 9 base it is a town hall 10 base because it's a town hall 10 but this guy is like an engineer town hall 10 base meaning he's a 9.5 meaning you can definitely assume that this guy is basically like a town hall 9 account so I just used this army and uh, I used uh, as many army spaces as it was possible at Town Hall 9. So these are not the army spaces at Town Hall 10, not the full capacity, minus 20 troops I believe if I am not mistaken. But anyways, let's go ahead and check it out. So as you can see, I deployed two columns, then some wizards in behind to clear out the outer structures and a couple of witches in behind because the witches, they do a pretty good amount of damage. Now with the war breakers, I didn't actually fail. I was happy about that because sometimes I do a wall breaker fail but as you can see let me just pause it right here real quick the goal of the first attack of the kill squad basically is to activate as many giant bombs as you can so i was hoping for my golems and stuff to go towards the right hand side because you can see there are many gaps right here where i'm clicking but sadly they didn't do it but i was lucky because there was a giant bomb right here as you can see within this compartment which is really good because if i click on play it is going to get triggered so as you can see that really worked out now you also want to be sure to take on the enemy archer queen and the enemy barbarian king if possible now if the heroes are both one on the left hand side of the base and then the other on the right hand side of the base meaning you can't get them at the exact same time i would recommend you guys go ahead and kill the archer queen because the archer queen she just does such a big amount of damage but the barbarian king he's all, he also does a good amount of damage but not as much so i would definitely recommend you take out the archer queen and uh, yeah so as you can see this is working really well i've got the jump spell for my units to go into the center of the base i've got the raid spot on top and the two poison spells if i do need them but anyways now i'm going to start deploying the hog riders and the way i did this is in a circular motion so as you can see i started off with this cannon now these two hog riders or three hog riders whatever they are i prefer dropping in two or three hog riders per defense and you can see two hog riders two or three hogs going on this cannon this cannon is going to be taken out and those hogs are going to continue on to the mortar and the wizard tower now you can see three more hogs coming in from the army camp moving on towards the cannon and then three more hogs from this barracks moving on towards the archer tower so your goal is to basically drop all of the hog riders in a circular motion and then i'm going to show you how to drop the heal spells but check it out let's click on replay yet again you can see these hog riders doing a really good amount of damage took out the cannon moving on towards the mortar the three hogs from the top drop that heal spell gonna keep them alive and as you can see i'm still continuing in a circular motion i'm holding on to five hogs now these hogs are going to move on to this archer tower going to drop in another heal spot right now just when you have like a pretty big amount of hog riders or when you see a double giant spot of um, spot basically be sure to drop in that heal spot it's definitely gonna help you out now I don't have any more hog riders remaining I do have seven hogs within the clan castle if I do need them but as you can see I saw let me just click on pause right here I saw that with one giant bomb was triggered here another one over here and then one more over here and then I basically 
looked into the entire base and just you can see that real quick I saw there was no other spot besides right here that there was a giant bomb so I dropped the heal spot on the hog riders right here and that's going to help the hog stay alive for this giant bomb and also for the giant bomb from the bomb tower which is going to drop now I could have dropped the poison spot I think I was a little late on the poison spot so if your my hogs are going to die by those spring chaps but a couple are going to stay alive and now I even had the choice to drop in my clan castle which are seven hog riders by the way again if I didn't mention it but uh, yeah it is definitely such a good attack strategy it works every single time if we do have some time I'm going to be doing a love attack at the very end of the video for town hall 9 but after this attack we're going to move on to town hall 8 but check it out I'm going to do a times 2 speed because now it's all a matter of clean now now your king and queen are most likely going to die but your queen may remain a lot now i didn't have the queen for this attack because again she was under construction but be sure to give it a try and let me know how it went down below in the comment section but as you can see this is going to be a very easy 100 percent three star there we go zero seconds left and also a ton of loot which i'm really happy about so now let's return back to base see what the town hall 8 army consists of so it consists of two golems 22 hog riders and as i can see right now actually i have to take away 20 capacity gyms so i'm gonna take out about so many hog riders so we're gonna do an attack with 18 hog riders not more but definitely oh god what happened right now why did another golem train up oh okay that means we have to actually okay what we're gonna do is we're not going to use three golems we're gonna use two golems trust me it is the town hall 8 attack strategy basically the army you can see on your screen right now is the army i would recommend for the town hall 8 strategy but take two golems instead of three now the third one just came because i have another army training we're going to train up another golem by the way but uh, yeah this is the attack strategy if you do want to use it five wall breakers 10 wizards 18 hog riders and two golems not three only two then we have two heal spells four earthquake spells for the kill squad and then a poison spell and then we have the king now not the arch queen and we are going to go ahead and actually try and find a town hall eight base now if we don't find a town hall eight base i'm going to try and do it against a town hall nine base but i honestly don't know what to expect so please do not expect too much now i don't have anybody online currently to give me any hog riders now i would actually recommend you take a couple of actually a single golem if that is possible if you can do that that would really be good if not i would recommend you take hog riders but i am now going to go ahead and try and search for a town hall 8 base you guys this may take a while because uh, up here in this league in the masters league i believe it is it's kind of difficult to find a town hall 8 base and as a town hall 10 base so i will be right back once i find a town hall 8 base or a pretty weak town hall 9 base so i'm gonna be right back in a couple of seconds okay so check it out with you guys we have not come across a town hall 8 base but a town hall 9 base but it's a pretty weak town hall 9 base so we are definitely gonna go ahead and take this guy on and uh, you can see he also doesn't have an archer queen which is really good so this is like one of the best examples because he also does have expos just for the case that you do need to go up against experts but i'm going to show you how to do this so basically you want to look at the base first see where the clan castle is you want to either lure it out with a single hog rider or go straight in with your golems i would recommend you actually try and go straight in with the golems so we are losing a lot of time so i'm going to go straight in so then go two golems that is all i'm allowed to use and now i'm going to drop in my wizards so check it out i'm just going to spread my wizards so much so that uh, they are basically covered by the two golems now hopefully this one golem does move on towards the center of the base come on golem gonna drop two uh what is it two war breakers and also another two over on this war compartment so that the um what is it the other golem does go straight into the base now i'm not going to use my uh, actual archer queen but i'm going to use the barbarian king again because of the fact that i am a town hall 10 i can't use my arch queen but this is where the earthquake spots are going to come in handy because they are going to help you break through the entire base i mean check it out i broke through the entire base which is really going to help me so now look at what i'm going to do i'm going to go in a circular motion so there we go going to drop in about two uh, or three hog riders per defense one two three and one two three and another three over here so there we go now with the two heal spells you want to be careful you can see a jump bomb right here and the wizard tower that's where you want to drop in your heal spell so we have four more hog riders left 
going to drop two on this air sweeper and then another two on the archer tower gonna hold on to the heal spot because of the bomb tower we're gonna wait for a couple of more seconds and also the wizard tower so you can see a single cannon not doing too much damage at all now i think is the time to drop the heal spot and you can see we don't even need the heal spot to be honest but i'm still going to drop it actually should we drop it no i don't think so just to prove to you that this attack strategy is actually really really good so check it out there we go that is all we needed um our hogs are still up and running okay there is a single tesla alive but that is okay but you can see 55 seconds left and we are definitely going to take out the rest of the base because our hog riders now don't have any more defenses meaning they are going to spread out you can see half of the hogs have gone to the left hand side and the other half have gone to the right hand side now i could drop my arch queen but i just want you guys to see that even without an archer queen or even without clean up units you can perfectly find a three star a base you can see only a couple of the Lexus soldiers yet left even these hog riders on top they didn't die by another giant bomb so you are good to go my golem is still alive okay a golem right but you can see only thing that is remaining is the border side right here up to 99 percent it's going to be a hundred percent in a few seconds there come the hog riders and that's going to be it 100 percent perfect three star and we use a town hall eight army on a town hall nine base now yes a couple of my troops are higher level but that really isn't going to make the difference honestly go ahead try this out and again keep in mind the steps i told you we are actually going to recap this real quick just for you guys to understand if you didn't already so basically we're going to do it really fast okay so i'm going to do a times two speed and pause a couple of times so first of all you want to drop in your two golems but i mean that is pretty obvious now right here i did a small mistake i should have dropped one or two wizards on this archer tower to take it out much faster but that is okay then you want to drop in your wizards in behind of the golems and then what you want to do is drop in your wall breakers now do not fail with the wall breakers please if you fail with your wall breakers you may be in a little bit of trouble now you want to pause and you want to see where the best spot is to actually drop in the four earthquake spots now i saw i had the chance to break one two three compartments so that is what i decided to do i could have dropped the earthquake spots a little better to be honest to break through this compartment as well but it doesn't seem like i did that but i could have definitely done so but anyways you also want to see where most of the amount of your troops are because obviously if you drop in the earthquake spots over here or as you can see on the uh, air defense the wizard tower and the elixir storage that's not going to help you out at all because the golem the wizards and the barbarian king are coming in from the left hand side so check it out dropping in those four earthquake spots that's really going to help we took out i believe one giant bomb if i'm not mistaken although this guy had them on the outside of the base which is always a little annoying when they do have that and then you want to drop in your hog riders in a circular motion that is so important trust me do them in a circular motion three defenses uh, sorry three hog riders per defense and you're gonna be good to go so check it out you saw three hog riders coming in on that archer tower now they're moving on towards the air defense we're gonna look at a single group of hog riders for a few seconds you can see these hog riders this group of hog riders we haven't dropped a heal spot and look at how long they're gonna stay alive for they are still alive and now they're gonna die by the giant bomb so that is why it's always good dropping in a couple of hogs per defense so that not all of your hog riders do die at once at most about four hog riders are going to die by a double giant bomb and not more you can see we didn't even need that final heal spot and then it's all a matter of cleanup so now we're going to return back to base hopefully you guys did understand what i meant hopefully my tutorial was pretty helpful now if it was please be sure to let me know down below in the comment section that would be really interesting because i'd like to do some more tutorial videos and if you guys do understand them that's really nice because that means i'm doing a good job of explaining and that's going to help me feedback always helps me if something wasn't good whilst i was explaining be sure to let me know down below in the comment section i would definitely appreciate it again these are the two armies for town hall 9 and for town hall 8 so that being said if you haven't already been doing drama content then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily videos and with all that being said guys my name is of course sasha and i'll see you next time peace out